Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday, what would be our Sunday morning call. Um, I just totally took it upon myself and figured that it would just be best if I recorded a video on my own and then posted it for you guys to watch because it's Easter. And I also have a feeling that a few of you forgot that we even had this call, even though I told you guys a million times to put it in your calendars. So, um, what we, or what I was going to plan on talking about today, anyway, um, it's totally cool in a recording video anyway. Um, I honestly didn't want to take up that much of your time this morning, and I was just going to do a lot of the talking. Anyway, um, the cool thing is a lot of you guys are in that diamond training that we have going on, so I kind of feel like I have a good um, handle on where a lot of you guys are. Um, if if there's any struggles going on, I feel like you guys are handling it really, really well in those groups. And that is kind of the whole point of creating those small individual groups and this little competition along with a training. Okay, um, so I really hope that that training is going well. I'm gonna talk about it a little bit later too, but um, I just really honestly wanted to talk today about leading by example and doing the things that you guys know you should be doing. And I froze and that's a really ugly picture. Okay, I'm back. I wonder if that caught, whatever. Um, and, you know, the, the thing is, you guys are all very far into your business, right? Like, none of this stuff is new. You all should know what to do at this point. And I feel like a lot of you guys sometimes um, are at that point also. Well, I remember being at the point in my business, kind of where you guys are, where either you hit diamond or you're very close to diamond, or you're like pushing for diamond, you know, that, that kind of span where most of you are. And I remember being like, oh my God, all these other things were going through my mind. Like, oh great, now I have to come up with a team name. I have to create my own team page. I have to host my own team calls. I have to make trainings. I have to do one-on-ones. I have to do all of this stuff on top of working a full-time job, on top of going to school and trying to get out of my full-time job and teaching classes and babysitting. Like, there's always so, so much going on. And then you're expected to become this new leader, right? And and all of these things are supposed to just magically fall into place. And you're just supposed to understand how to now help all of these people, like 12 people that you brought on as coaches. And now you're like, okay, well, now what do I do, right? So there's a few things, um, personally, that I feel like, would benefit you and it would benefit me and the team as a whole. So leading by example, I think most of you guys forget the basics. I included. Um, totally sometimes just miss what the basics should be. And I totally sometimes ignore the most obvious things, like the three vital behaviors. Okay. Well, four. Four vitals. These vital behaviors are called vital behaviors for a reason, guys, okay? Now, if you are not doing the three vital behaviors, your coaches are not gonna do the three vital behaviors. If your coaches are not doing the three vital behaviors, that means you're not leading by example properly, okay? So I kinda just want you to maybe take like a, like a self-scan, right, like a self-check. You're like, are you currently following a program? Not a hybrid a full-blown program. Are you doing a program? Are you drinking your shake Shakeology every day? Are you using your containers to help measure your food every day? Are you using the cookbook, the fix a cookbook? Are you using each body on demand? Are you figuring out and meal prepping and trying to understand how to provide value to your followers on social media? Are you doing those things? And then of course, are you reading a personal development book? A personal development book could be anything. It could be something super personal. It could be about leadership. It could be about business. It could be about social media. Personal development could be split into two different categories. You can have something that's personal development, something that's more like spiritual, um, that speaks to your heart and like touches your soul and like just makes you feel all warm and fuzzy. And then you could also do something like business development, um, something that has to do with money or that has to do with um, I don't know, blogging or something like that. So your personal development ranges very, very wide. I personally do both every single day. I do my personal development, which is my visualization, my spirituality, um, and just trying to implement a lot of the mindset stuff. Um, but then I also do business development, 
I do currently I'm reading that Tony Robbins um, leadership book. Um, so I have two different ends of the things. So if you feel like maybe you're struggling in your business at the moment and it's the 27th and you haven't hit success club, I bet it's because you're not doing the three BBs. I don't know. hundred percent. Bring it back home. Get back to basics. Talk to your coaches about doing the same exact thing. When you guys follow a program, when you drink your Shakeology, when you feel good about yourself, <laughs> everything else falls into place. I promise. Okay, so if you are not a success club, I need you guys to write down what you're doing as far as your three VBs. Um, because if you're doing your three VBs and then something and it's still not working, then we might need to change the amount of people you talk to every day or how many friends you make. Or maybe it's just your wording and your word vomiting over people. Or it's super um, inconsistent. Or you're trying to do a hybrid or you're not really doing a program. Okay. So I feel like right away, instantly, you guys are going to be like, oh, shit. Or, oh, that's not me because I'm doing all the right things and shit is working, okay? There's one or the other in this business, right? You guys know that. Either it's working, you're having an awesome time, things are flowing, you're good, people are coming to you, you're talking to people, it's awesome, or it's total womp womp city. Why? Because you're not doing a program, you're not drinking psychology, you're not talking about it, you're not sharing it, and you're not talking to fucking people. You're probably not doing your personal development either. Okay, so if you guys are not doing those three things, if you are not listening to the national wake up call, if you're not logging into the team call, if you're not hosting live what is coaching calls or groups or challenge groups, if you're not talking about those things or doing those things, why are your coaches? Okay, it is so vital and important for you guys to understand where you are in your business right now, the amount of um, how powerful it's going to be for you to get your coaches to success club. Okay. So if you're not getting to success club, you're losing out on money. You're losing out on rank advancement. You're losing out on titles and prestige and getting shout outs and being a business owner. If you're not making success club, you're a hobby coach. Okay, if you're making success club, this is your business, okay? You have to think about your business as a storefront. Remember, guys, okay? It's a storefront. If you don't show up for your job every day and your, your business, your store is going to shut down, okay? If you're not doing the things that you should be doing, why would your employees do anything either? If you sit in the back all day on Facebook and you're just scrolling, what would your employees do? They're not going to work hard. They're not going to do it either. They're going to sit there on Facebook and scroll just, as, just like you, okay? If they see you busting your ass and they see that passion and they see that you're doing things and you're rank advancing and you're helping people and you're bringing people onto your team, they're going to be like, I'm going to do it too, okay? Your energy and your focus and your push is the one thing that is going to make your business succeed. Succeed in, in your business end of the day comes down to your three vital behaviors and success club. Okay. So think I would I want you guys to also go through your um, sponsorship drill down and let us know, let me know in the comments underneath this post on um, how many personally sponsored coaches you have to success club this month. Do you have any of your coaches on the board at least? Because you should at least have one coach that's on the board with success club. Okay, so, so that should be a goal for you guys. So start paying attention to those things. So when you log into your COO, go to my business, uh, my downline, and then sponsorship drill down. It's the very last option. And it's just a little bit better visual, visually pleasing to see what's going on. So you've got your left leg and your right leg. And if you scroll all the way over, you can see a bunch of information about your coaches. Okay, and there is a category for success though current success club points, and there's even one from the past, so you can see what they did last month. Um, I know it's Easter, but this could be an awesome way to reach out to some of your coaches today and say, hey, how's it going? I hope you have a great Easter. Um, do you have anything fun planned for today? Just go back to being friends sometimes. Sometimes just being a friend is more important than anything in this business, and sometimes 
I'm sure today, I mean, I'm Jewish, um, and I also don't eat a lot of stuff that's ever at Tom's family's house anyway, so I always bring my own food, and I'm, never, I'm not, I'm at that point in my life where I'm just not tempted by shit that's going to make me sick, so, but not everybody's like that, so somebody might need you as their coach today to just step away from the cookies, <laughs> or to bring your container with you to the family meal today, or, or not overeat or something. Like maybe they just need that. You can do it today. You just don't know, guys, okay? So I want you to take some time out um, and just message your coaches and just give them like a well wishes, good luck. I'm here if you feel like you're gonna eat an entire box of cookies and ruin an entire month's worth of hard work. Okay, so those are great ways to maintain that friendship with your coaches because your team, your coaches, you guys know. I don't have to preach this to you. You guys should know this shit. Your team is like your family. If you don't treat them well and if, and if you don't care about them, it's going to show and they're not going to care about you and they're not going to care about your business and they're not going to care about success club and they're not going to care about holding for six weeks so that way you advance to two star. Do you understand? You guys have to lead by example. If you keep that friendship open and you really value that relationship, guess what's gonna happen? When they sign on a coach, they're gonna value their coach and they're gonna care about them and they're gonna give them all that love and attention that you that, that I gave you and that you gave them and then they're gonna give them. Okay? It's a ripple effect. It is you leading by example. That's the basic stuff that you guys know you need to do. And take a deep breath in. It's the thing that you guys should just naturally do anyway. It's one of these things, it's a no brainer. Leading by example and being this new leader as a diamond means jack shit, okay? I don't want you guys to get caught up in the mindset of, well now I'm a leader and now I have to host my own team calls and do all these trainings and stuff. Focus on what matters. What matters is recruiting. What matters is getting to success club. What matters is you posting and talking to people and doing your three VBs. That's what matters. Creating a team name doesn't really matter at this point, okay? Because you have more important things. And a team name can be changed at any time. It can be created at any time. There's no right or wrong way of doing anything. And I, I totally understand how amazing it is and how exciting it is to create your team name. But if you are not close to a two-star, it really honestly doesn't matter, guys, <laughs> okay? So I just want you guys to realize that leading by example is basic stuff. And I know that sometimes we can get caught up in our own minds of what um, is expected of us when we see so many other people doing things. And that is where the comparison game comes in. And that is another way that you can lead by example by not comparing yourself to somebody else, okay? So if you're scrolling around and you're seeing all of these top coaches making all of these trainings and all these posts and doing Periscope and Facebook Live and, and all of this amazing stuff and you're just like, but I should be doing that and I need to do that too and I need to do that. Oh, but wait, I still have this kid and I have to take him to the ballet today. But then I can also do this and then I also have to create these videos and I need to make this post and then at the end of the day, you didn't do any of your three vital behaviors and it's not moving your business forward. So take a step back, reevaluate what you guys are doing every single day. Because if those three vital behaviors are not happening every single day, I guarantee you're not going to hit success club this month and you're going to fail. <laughs> okay, that's the truth. You guys know that this, that's the truth. But sometimes I know that it's hard to get caught up in the numbers game and the comparison game. Trust me. Been there, done that, okay? So put your fucking blinders on, focus on yourself, and be true to who you are, because we're all different. We're all weirdos, and we all have little weird quirks and things. But bringing it back in and leading by example is where it's going to matter most. So make sure you guys are listening to the National Wake Up Call every single Monday. Every single Monday, you should be tagging your coaches in our main team page, either, either Fit Fire or Takeover, or of course your own, or both, and tagging them in our post that we are announcing that the national wake-up call comes on in 15 minutes. I hoot that sweet, hoot sweet that shit out for a reason. 
It's a, it's there, not for you. It's there for the newbies and the new coaches. But if you guys are not commenting on those posts, you're not tagging your coaches in those posts and you're not making an effort to be present in that group. They're never going to know what the national wake up call is. They're going to see NWC and be like, I don't fucking know what that is. I'm not even going to ask what it is because it probably doesn't attain to me. Otherwise my coach might've told me about it. But if you don't mention these things and if you don't tag them and you don't show them and you don't tell them every Monday, every Wednesday, there are calls happening. Okay. If you guys are not on the team calls, why are your coaches going to get on? Why? Why? Why would they get on? If you're not doing it, why are they going to do it? Okay. So just reevaluate these things. Put a few dates in your calendar. Put reminders in your calendar about the national wake up call if they aren't already. Put um, dates um, for Wednesdays at 9 p.m. That's when um, fit, that's when takeovers team call is. Uh, I think Fitfire is before an hour before. I don't remember. Um, but mark these things down and make sure that your coaches know about them. Okay, you guys should all be getting on them. Life happens. Yes. However, the National Wake Up Call is on a podcast. It's always recorded. The team call is always recorded. And I try to post it the next day. There should be no excuses. There should be no reason why these calls are not being listened to, heard, and then shared. Okay. Um, leading by example. When your coach logs in, they should see your face also on the call. Especially if you're going to host it one week. Okay. So mark those things down, get back to basics, and don't beat yourselves up over the little things, okay? I had a great um, call this week with Taryn, and I don't even know. Oh, she just, it, it just clicked. It just has to click. All you have to do are the things that you know you should do. I had a great call with her. Oh, how's it going? Oh, it's going great. I'm, you know, homegirls like almost at success club six and Taryn's always gotten to four and, and you know, she just got to Emerald. So like everything is clicking, things are moving. And I would ask her, what have you been doing differently? Do you guys know what Taryn's response was? The three vital behaviors. I want to punch you guys in the face sometimes. Just do the three vital behaviors, okay? Because if you do the three vitals, everything else is going to fall into place. You're going to find that rock star that you need. They're going to do the same exact thing that you're doing, and your volume is going to go up. Your income is going to go up. You're going to rank advance all of those big things that you guys told me in January. I still have them written down if you need me to remind you. All of those things that you guys sat on this call with me and told me that you wanted for yourself, for your family by the end of this year, those things are going to happen. You just have to stay consistent with this and you just have to do your three VBs. That is all you have to do. Your job is to talk to people and help people. This should be fun. Okay. So lead by example. If you are also in the diamond training, that is a great way for you to also lead by example. That's an amazing way for you guys to totally just take charge of being this new awesome leader that I know you guys are dying to be, right? Like you guys want to create your own team pages. Most of you want to create your own trainings and be that coach. In this diamond training is your chance to be that coach. Start here. Understand what you can do what you can provide, the value that you have, how, my, how amazing you are as a person and as a leader and what you can share. That's amazing, guys. Your leader week in that diamond training should be on fucking point. That week should consistently just be your focus. Your entire world should be that diamond training when you are the host that week, guys. I expect that from you, 100%. I 100% expect that from all of you in here is to be that coach that I know you want to be and I know that you can be. So when it's your week, you really need to fucking step that shit up, okay? Because I, I honestly expect that from you guys because I know you guys can do it and you have a great person to follow because you have Stacey and I that have done so much for you guys and we're leading by example. Okay. So now you have to do the same exact thing. And in those trainings, the diamond training, there's so many newbies. There's a lot of newbies. 
you guys might even be on a team together. I think Ali and Davina, you guys are in a bingo team together, but I think everybody else are like brand new coaches that just started this year. So when you guys are in that group, it's your chance to help each other out. And at the end of the day, we are all a team. All of this volume counts to you. No matter where you are, everybody in here helps each other out in some sort of way. So if you guys can help somebody else that's in your downline, even if they're so far removed or on the other leg, um, it doesn't really matter because we're all one team. And as a team, together, our volume is going to go through the roof. And you guys know what volume equals, right? Your volume turns into your residual income. So by helping others and putting this diamond training first is going to help you in so many ways. And that is why we did it. Okay. So make sure you guys head back to that diamond training. That diamond training, your chat group, or if you created a Facebook page, it should be at the very top of your list. It should be something that you check in with multiple times a day. This is not just a one-time thing. Here you go. You guys know the rules. Okay. There's uh, expectations in that group. That group needs to become your main focus because you know the power when you rally together, it's just unstoppable. And there are, what, four or five teams, and two of them are very close. They're already hitting fucking bingo. Okay? So do you see what I mean? The teams that rally together make shit happen. The teams that don't rally together don't care. It's just, uh -uh. it's happening. Okay, so you guys as leaders need to lead by example, rally your team up, and make these things happen. It's the 27th. We have until the 31st. 31st, right? Yes. Okay. Anything is possible. Okay, you guys can do these things. It's not taking up that much of your time. Okay, when you're sitting on the toilet and you're taking a poo, check out your group page. Okay, encourage each other, ask each other how they're doing. Um, whatever works. I'm all about the Snapchat, obviously. So snap each other, make it fun, tag each other on social media, be like, oh, my girl's doing this today. Check her out. Whatever it is that you guys can create in a great atmosphere in your little diamond training groups is going to be a huge deciding factor whether you're going to make it or break it. Okay. Um, so please just go back there. Um, make sure you know each other. <laughs> I hope you guys already by this point but there's a few groups that I think um, are slacking a little bit and I feel like if you are on that slacking group you're kind of like is she talking to me? yeah yeah um, if you were in one of the groups that are rocking it you guys know who you are okay so good job thanks keep it up that is exactly what you should be doing um, you guys know the drill if there's any questions um, from another teammate I would love for you guys to answer them instead of me answering them because that's kind of what you're here for. And at this point, you guys know just as much as I do. You might even know a little bit more. Who knows? Okay. So um, please go back to your diamond training groups um, and maybe underneath here too when you um, let me know about whatever I asked you earlier to let me know about. Just add um, how your team, your diamond team training group is going. Um, this is a safe place. This group is very um, open with each other, and you guys are all very good friends, and not everybody is in this group. So a lot of the newbies are not in this group. So it is a safe place if you feel like you need to vent about something, if you feel like you're struggling with how to get your group moving towards a good group, if that makes any sense. So like if you're a part of one of the groups that just kind of like wah, wah, and you're like, but I'm the only one that's trying, comment below, um, cause maybe we just need to shake some things up. Maybe Stacey, Nina, and I need to just help out a little bit more, um, but let's talk about it so that way your team can thrive. And this is just a really great learning experience because your team page, <laughs> Cannot, when you first start your team page, there's going to be like fucking crickets. It's going to suck, okay, for a really long time. I used to do team calls by myself, <laughs> like I am doing now, okay, because I just, nobody, it takes time. 
things take time. But if you're struggling with your group and you feel like maybe you just need some help kind of like revamping it or doing something, um, just let us know. Comment below because let's help each other out and figure out a really great way to get everybody involved in your diamond training groups and just kind of liven it up. Have fun with it. There's no wrong or right way to do any of this, um, but it should be very fun. And if you guys are not having fun, then I want to change that because that's why we created it. I mean, it's fucking bingo. Bingo is amazing. I love bingo. Okay. So I really um, would love for you guys to be very open with each other and with me and Stacy and Nina in this group, in the sponsor group, because a lot of the people are not in this, in that group. This is kind of like the leader page basically, right? Um, so a lot of the newbies are not in this page, so they won't see it. Okay, so it's a safe place. Um, but I just want to get that conversation going because I feel like that is a very um, important group. And if you guys have any personally sponsored coaches in that group, y'all should be pushing them hard because I have some dates. I'm going to share this image. Um, but May, May 12th. Okay, so here are, for all coaching coaches wishing to be recognized at Summit 2016 for achieving a new rank, go to the Coach Online office under the Recognition tab, Summit 2016 Recognition. However, qualifications start May 12th, so I was wrong. What did I say? May 11th. Oh, no, I'm fine. That's what I said, right? What did I say? May 18th? Oh, no, I was a week off. I said 18th. I lied, guys. You have until May 11th. It is March 27th. This diamond training is 60 days. And you guys are what, like a weekend, maybe? A weekend. Two star. Two star, guys. That was your goal. That was your vision. That is why you're here. Two star. May 11th. May 11th. May 11th. May 11th. Okay. Talk to your coaches. If you're going for elite, oh, that's what the other thing was. How many PS coaches do you have at Success Club? PSSC, personally sponsored Success Club. How many PSSCs do you have? Write that down. Write down May 11th all over your fucking vision board. Write it down on your computer. Write it down on your mirrors. Write it down in your car. Write it down on your lock screen on your phone. We have to get our shit together, guys. May is coming really fucking fast. We have like a month to rank advance. Okay, so please take a deep breath in, lead by example, get back to the basics, do your three vital behaviors, talk to your personally sponsored coaches, help them get to Success Club, and get yourself to Success Club. That should be a non-negotiable, especially for all of you in here. Getting sassy. Getting sassy. Okay, mark your calendars for um, April 17th because that will be our next call. Actually, it might be the 10th just because my birthday's that weekend. No, I'm kidding. Um, let's take a vote, 17th or the 10th of April just because nobody got on any calls this month at all. Um, and if you guys really do want to call, maybe we should just do it the 10th because Super Saturday is on the 2nd or it could be on the 3rd if you're one of those weird states or, or when they do it on Sundays. So let's do it April 10th. April 10th, mark your calendars. It's official. 8 a.m. Eastern. Um, I apologize for my West Coasters. However, you can go right back to sleep after and it's just once a month where you have to wake up at 5 a.m. So suck it up, put on your big gar panties, and set your alarms, and set your calendars right now, okay? Um, I also just wanted to say that I know today is Easter. However, one, I'm Jewish, so Easter doesn't really matter to me. Two, I made an announcement last week that our call would be today on Easter, and not a single person must have opened up their email and was like, oh, but it's Easter Sunday, Meredith, maybe we shouldn't do that. So that means that you guys did not add this call to your calendar because if you did, somebody would have caught it, that it was Easter. Um, little things like that. Put things in your calendar. Make this happen, okay? Because this is your business. This is your future. This is your life. <laughs> I had to make this work. I have to make this work. Beachbody and my business 
is my, my future. It's my life. Okay. This office that I get to sit on is from a year of fucking hard work. Every single day for an entire year last year, I showed up on really bad days, on really hard days, on days that I did not want to move. I still showed up. And look what happened. Okay. I know it's hard and I know life happens. Trust me. I get it. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Guaranteed, we've all been in some sort of situation where we could all just sit there and be like, but life, but life, but excuses. Okay. You guys, this is a let, this is either going to be your entire future or this is just a fun hobby. Okay. But this sponsor group, this diamond training, who I am and why I'm here and why I'm doing these calls and why I created Sponsor and Prosper with Stacy for you guys was because you are my life. You guys are, right? Like Ali said, Ali on the cruise told me how much her team, she figured it out how much her team um, earned in volume points that created my income. You guys are my life. Of course, I'm going to invest my time in you, but you know what? I'm also going to invest my time in people that want it. Okay. And you guys should have the same respect for yourself kind of a thing. But if you don't have that respect for yourself, if you don't want this to work, if you don't care, one, you're not even going to watch this. You're probably not going to be watching me talk right now. But also, this is just going to be a hobby for you. This is just going to be like a fun game or um, somebody made a really good phrase that it was like a sorority group or something like this is not a fun click I mean we are but it that's not what it is this is a legit business I am a business owner I am a CEO I own a online business and I work for myself from home so if I don't show up to my business every single day things are not going to happen I'm not going to move forward I'm never going to progress from hitting five star elite in 2015 you guys are never going to move forward further than diamond or hit diamond or maintain diamond rank. You guys can fall out of rank at any time. Okay. Hitting diamond for one week does not mean jack shit. Okay. So getting diamond, holding diamond, going to two star, going to five star. That is when your business starts, not where you are right now. Okay. But you guys need to keep pushing and you need to get back in it. Okay. You, you have all of the tools, but at the end of the day, you're the only one that can ever make this happen for you. If you believe in it enough, it's going to happen. If you don't believe in it, it's never going to happen. That is the bottom fucking line. What you believe becomes your reality. What you believe becomes your reality. If you're sitting there and you're like, I'm never going to make make diamond. I'm never going to make this business work because I'm not good enough. You're never going to do it, guys. You have to change your mindset. You have to do your personal development. You have to do your three vital behaviors because if you're eating right, you're drinking your Shakeology and you're working out and you're doing personal development, you're going to feel great about who you are. You're going to feel sorry for others that don't want to join us. You're going to be like, oh, I'm sorry you don't want to make your life better. Because I'm making my life better every single day. For whatever your reason is that you're here, that reason needs to hit you so hard in your heart and in your gut that it's going to push you and it's going to bring you back if you feel like you're in that fight, if you feel like things aren't working. You have to bring it back home. And at the end of the day, it's just you. It's you and your phone and a fucking computer. You're sitting behind something. There should be no fear. If somebody doesn't like you, if somebody unfollows you, well, fuck you. That's your fault because I'm amazing. Okay? You guys are amazing. You are here in this sponsor and prosper group for a reason, to sponsor people and prosper. <laughs> okay? So if you guys aren't doing that, get the fuck out of my group. Okay? Because this group is here for a reason. It's here for the people that are passionate. It's here for the people that care. If you don't care... This business is not going to work for you guys. There are so many trainings out there and so many things going on. And that's why I really encourage you guys having blinders on, focusing on yourself, focusing on your coaches and your business. 
okay, you don't have to do what all of the other top coaches are doing because when they were at your level, they weren't doing that stuff. But you're never going to get to that level if you don't do the basics. Does that make sense? You guys will never be a Melanie Mitchell or a Lindsay Matway or an Amy Silverman if you guys are not doing the basics. Because they do the basics. They all follow programs. They all drink their Shakeology every day. And they talk to people and they share. Okay. I'm going to get off my soapbox now. But I'm serious. Um, please just listen to this again. Take some time today. Enjoy your holiday. Enjoy family time. Reach out to some of your personally sponsored coaches. Give them well wishes. Um, go fucking make Success Club. It should be a non-negotiable. Help your coaches get to Success Club and get back to your diamond trainings um, and really make that group shine, okay? So please comment below questions, comments, concerns, where your personally sponsored coaches are at and how your diamond training is going, please. Mark your calendars, April 10th. We are going to have our call. April 2nd is Super Saturday. Um, these events should also be a non-negotiable. Um, April 2nd is a Super Saturday. It might also be the first or the third, depending on where you live. Um, but April 2nd is a Super Saturday, and you should all be at a Super Saturday. If you cannot get to a Super Saturday, you need to go and enroll yourself as a host for a Super Saturday. So that way you get the videos and the trainings, and you can do them on your own on April 2nd with everybody else. Lead by example. Don't make excuses. Okay? Thank you guys, and I love you guys. I will post um, some more Summit Recognition stuff for you guys too, but just make sure May 11th. Everybody needs to be in two-star two qualifications. Okay, if, if you want to be on stage at Summit, if you want to get recognized, if you want to walk down that field and get a fun flag and have your name be called out and shined on every single huge billboard and be that person and get to those exclusive parties at Summit. and it's going to happen if you truly believe in it inside of yourself, okay? So I hope you guys have a great day. And please let me know what else I can do, what else you need, and um, I'll see you guys on April 10th, okay? Have a great one, guys. Thank you.